Welcome to our Customer Portal tutorial. The Customer Portal has the ability to integrate with QuickBooks, allowing you to easily export invoices and credit memos to your QuickBooks Online or QuickBooks Desktop software. In this tutorial, we will demonstrate steps you will complete to set up the Customer Portal integration with QuickBooks Online. This video specifically shows the QuickBooks Online steps. They are slightly different than the QuickBooks Desktop steps. Please refer to the QuickBooks Desktop video if that is the version used. Before we begin, it is important to note that only customer users with administrator permissions will be able to use the QuickBooks integration features. To begin, log into the Customer Portal website. You can access the QuickBooks integration from two places, from my account or hovering over my links. Please note, if the home screen looks different from the first example, the user will click on my account and then click on QuickBooks integration. The QuickBooks setup will display options for the two available connection types, desktop and online. Choose QuickBooks Online. The first time you click the QuickBooks Online button, you will be redirected to QuickBooks Online where you will fill out your QuickBooks username and password. Once the connection has been authenticated, you will be redirected back to the QuickBooks settings page on the Customer Portal website. From the QuickBooks setting page, you have options to disconnect the integration and apply QuickBooks and sync settings. It is important to note, these settings will need to be established before invoices can be sent to QuickBooks. To do this, click the vendor dropdown and choose the vendor name you created in the QuickBooks system for our location. Click the AP dropdown and choose the desired AP account, then click apply changes. The next section allows the creation of line items in the invoice at a summary and line item level. Here is an example of an invoice using a summary level. Choosing the summary section options will ensure that the bill entered in QuickBooks does not have the parts detail. It will group the parts total into one line, the merchandise total, on the bill. The summary section will display the category choice selected and a total amount for all items on the invoice. Here is an example of a line item level invoice. The line item level will display each individual item on the invoice, but group them under the products and services choice that was selected. From the category dropdown, choose the desired category, then click apply changes. You can also choose to designate taxes on the invoice. If you do not wish to track tax as a separate category in QuickBooks, tax can be mapped to the same category that is picked for items. Once the summary or line item level is set as desired, click Apply Changes. From the QuickBooks setting page, click the Sync Invoices drop-down menu in the Sync Settings area. There are two options to sync invoices, Sync All or Sync Manually. If Sync All is chosen, invoices from the customer portal will automatically be sent to QuickBooks Online. If Sync manually is chosen, invoices from the customer portal will manually be sent by you to QuickBooks Online. The same options are available for credit memos. Once the desired choices are selected, click the Apply Changes button. To manually send an invoice to QuickBooks, from the Customer Portal homepage, click Orders and Invoices. Please note, if the home screen looks different from the first example, you will click on My Account and then click on Invoices. Click the Invoices tab. Click the desired order number and click the Send to QuickBooks button. You will receive a green success message. Please note that if an invoice has already been sent to QuickBooks, the button will read Resend to QuickBooks. Resending a bill will remove the prior duplicate entry from QuickBooks. This concludes the tutorial on Customer Portal integration with QuickBooks Online. If you need further assistance, please reach out to your sales representative.